Uh, next, I'm thrilled to be able to welcome Howard County's first lady and role model for all political spouses everywhere, Shawnee Ball. First and foremost, I would like to thank all of you for joining us here tonight. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Shawnee Ball, and I am the wife of Howard County Executive Elect Calvin Ball, and the mother of our two wonderful daughters, Alexis and Alyssa. Calvin and I first met in 1995 while working at Montgomery Wards in Security Square Mall. His opening line was, God spoke to me, and we were meant to be married. <laughs> really. As you, as you may have guessed, I was not convinced. <laughs> but through our three-year courtship, I began to believe that we were created for one another. We were married 20 years ago in March of 1998. It is hard to believe it is hard to believe that at this point in our lives, we have been together longer than we were apart. When we started looking for a home, there was only one place for Calvin, Howard County. As a military brat, I was not familiar with Howard County or Columbia and the Rouse vision of equity and inclusion. However, I believe in God. God led me to Calvin and thus to Howard County. There was no better suited place for us as we moved into our Columbia home in 1999. Shortly after, in 2002, we were blessed with our first daughter, Alexis, followed by Alyssa in 2006. Calvin wanted our girls to grow up in a diverse and inclusive community. He also wanted our children to attend the best school system in the state. Our girls graduated from Talbot Springs Elementary and went on to attend Oakland Mills Middle and Oakland Mills High School. Calvin's faith, focus, and need for creating an environment for us all, for creating, excuse me, Calvin's faith, focus, and need for creating a better environment for us all will be guiding principles as he looks to create a blueprint of excellence for our community. He is grateful for your faith and trust in him to get the job done but he cannot do it alone. Together, we can build a community that continues to be a model of diversity, equity, and inclusion. I am most proud of Calvin because he's a good husband and an amazing father. But I would be amiss if I did not mention how proud I am that he made history here in Howard County as the first African-American county executive. <laughs> When someone becomes the first African-American, Latino, woman, Jewish, Muslim, or LGBTQ plus to be elected into any political office, often the focus is on what they did, but that isn't the point. Calvin and I know that this accomplishment is not about him. This is about future generations of Howard County residents, like our daughters, who will now know that people who look like them can also become leaders of this great county. <laughs> Jim Rouse is quoted as saying, whatever ought to be, can be. This is an appropriate model for modern Howard County. No matter your race, your religion, your gender, or your sexual orientation, your talents will not be limited here. My husband's election epitomizes this consciousness, and he will govern under the mandate of diversity, inclusion, and tolerance. Mary Frances Winters once said, we are each a unique being, but working together in teams allows for accomplishments not possible by any one of us. With that said, it gives me great pleasure 
to introduce to you the first African-American ever elected to this position. Someone who makes me proud every day. Our next county, our next county executive and my husband, Dr. Calvin Ball. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Calvin Ball. I, Calvin Ball. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution. And support the Constitution. And laws thereof. And laws thereof. And that I will. And that I will. To the best of my skill and ability. To the best of my skill and ability. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the duties. Execute the duties. Of Howard County Executive. Of Howard County Executive. According to the Constitution. According to the Constitution. And laws of this state. And laws of this state. Thank you. Thank you, my friends. It's so good to be here with you. I would not be standing here if it were not for the abundant faith, trust, and support of so many. First and foremost, my incredible introducer in chief, <laughs> fabulous First Lady of Howard County. spectacular supporter, and best friend, my wife, Shani. My amazing A-team of daughters, Alexis and Alyssa, who have been there for me unconditionally, even as you grow to become fierce leaders of tomorrow. My beloved parents, who, while they could not be here in person, are home watching, and are always here with me in spirit. My dedicated team, both at the county council and on the campaign trail, you truly are my family, and I would not be here today if it weren't for you. Everyone who participated in this democratic process and gave your time and treasure to help all of us serve our community. Alan Kittleman and the Kittleman family for your years of service to Howard County. all of the other candidates who had the courage to put yourselves and your families out there to do what you could to help others. The residents of Howard County for making your voices heard in this process, putting your faith in me, and partnering with all of us for a responsible, responsive government. I thank you for the trust you've placed in me. I'm honored to be the county executive for all of Howard County, for Columbia, born from a vision of inclusion, ripe for renaissance of revitalization, for an Elkridge with historic roots that run deeper than most communities in America, 
yet can be an American example for the infrastructure and public facilities for tomorrow. For an elegant city who will not be defined by floods, but who, with me as your champion, will become a national model for unity, safety, strength, and resilience. For every farmer and all of our neighbors in Western Howard County, we can become the best example of embracing the future of agriculture and the quality of life for rural communities. I'm honored to be the county executive for all of Howard County, from Jessup to North Laurel, Skaggsville, Highland, Dayton, West Friendship, Woodstock, Glenelg, and every corner of our great county. I'm honored to be your representative and tireless advocate. And I commit to you that I will do so with innovation, transparency, proactive, and sensible leadership that remains rooted in the values and quality of life we all cherish. As we all know and feel, our country is shifting. Our nation is at a true crossroads, perhaps the most significant in our lifetime. The very fabric of who we are is being tested. Howard County has deeply rooted values of inclusion, equity, responsible stewardship of our resources, and prosperity for all. With our will and our ethos, we can be a beacon of light, brightly shining as a model of hope. At this important juncture, I'm reminded of the, of the notable excerpt from A Tale of Two Cities in which Charles Dickens discusses the contradictions between life in London and life in France. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. It was the epoch of belief, it was the epoch of incredulity. It was the season of light, it was the season of darkness. It was the spring of hope, it was the winter of despair. We had everything before us, we had nothing before us. This, my friends, is the challenge of America today. I know that we can emanate hope and light for our nation. I know that together we can. I know that together we can make sure that everyone in Howard County has access to a quality and affordable educational opportunities from pre-K all the way through college and beyond by continuing to support and prioritize innovative learning efforts, our school system, Howard Community College, and through our libraries. I know that together we can make progress on building much needed schools while redistricting in a way that keeps neighborhoods together because we all want to combat school overcrowding and class size increases and foster the best teaching and learning environment for all of our children and educators. I know that together we can ensure that all Howard County residents have access to affordable health care and critical emergency services. I know that together we can become models for energy independence and innovation that preserves open spaces and takes seriously the increasing frequency and severity of bad weather in a way that respects our history and our tax dollars. I know that together we can all become more prosperous and create a more business friendly environment of economic growth that promotes local businesses while fighting for private sector jobs that pay a living wage and have the kind of working conditions that we'd all want our loved ones to experience. I know that together we can help our sisters and brothers fighting addiction, 
facing mental health challenges or struggling through homelessness without the stigma while still embracing compassion and dignity. I know that together we can mourn our fallen family members who serve as first responders, such as Nate, God rest his soul, and still recognize the importance of appropriate staffing and work diligently to make improvements so that we demonstrate that public safety is a priority and those who keep us safe are two priorities. Let's create the best of times, expanding opportunity for all. Let's celebrate the age of wisdom, ensuring all of our children have access to the best public education, which not only challenges them and encourages them to innovate, but also prepares them for their very best future. Let's be that epoch of belief about reality of equality and inclusion for all, rejecting racism, anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, misogyny, homophobia, ageism, discrimination, and hate in all forms. Let's foster a spring of hope, being the best place to live, raise our families, and improve the quality of life for all of our residents. We do have everything before us because we needn't be two cities of contradiction and disparity. Together, let's cultivate a united, cohesive Howard County for all of us. God bless you. God bless Howard County, and God bless America.